It's time to wake up America. My hometown of Chicago, folks, this breaks my heart to say, but Chicago is literally a war zone. Here are the facts. Homicides are skyrocketing, 369 so far just this year. And get this, a war-torn country of 32 million people, Afghanistan, has less violent deaths per 100,000, which is 5.19, than Chicago, America's third largest city, of 2.72 million at a rate of 13.5. That's less than half. In Afghanistan. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Liberal Democrats are happening. Mayor Rahm Emanuel is a complete failure. Rahm was in over his head from the get-go. At the beginning of his term, Emanuel eliminated the mobile strike force and targeted response units over budget issues. As the violence started to spike, Rahm hired Eddie Johnson, basically a yes man, who defended all the foolish liberal policies Rahm could cook up. Rahm, Eddie, and the ACLU placed Massive restrictions on how officers were allowed to make contact with suspects. When they do make a perfectly legal stop, officers are required to pump out mounds of bureaucratic paperwork. According to John Lott, a friend and a gun issue expert, Chicago has a detective force that is undermanned and overextended, struggling against reluctant prosecutors and a notorious no-snitch code. The results have been deadly. In 1991, 67% of murders were arrested. Under Rahm Emanuel, it hit a new low of 20% in 2016. Shocking, isn't it? Only one in five murders are cleared. Not much of a deterrent, is it, when you have an 80% chance of not getting caught? Chicago ground zero for Chicago's tsunami of murder, armed robbery, and assault is not the west and south sides of Chicago. Nope, ground zero sits right there in City Hall. Wake up, Chicago. Empower law enforcement to enforce the law. Spend the money to break up the gangs and lock up the criminals. And for God's sake, get rid of the Rom and Eddie show or continue this failed progressive experiment and watch the body counts continue.